Hey, I'm sure that I'm going to have a curriculum that transnet. Vito Ramina, I'm in a base, CPO Mabunda, the general manager of planning and operations command center, EGA TFR. I began my career in transnet, which was in 2012. One of the things that I guess um, has always been an inherent part of who I am is an extreme belief in myself. So I had no doubt that one of these days I'll find myself being a general manager as I am uh, today. And the reason for that is that I intrinsically believe in my ability and I put a lot of hard work and a lot of thought in terms of my career. I think it is important to understand that um, from a leadership point of view, obviously there are various ways to lead. And I guess one of the types of leadership that is quite popular nowadays is servant leadership, which is a lot more humble and a lot more caring. But I believe that for the corporate South Africa that we have today and for an organization like ourselves, uh, Transnet, which is very large and is fraught with uh, many, many challenges. The type of leadership that may be most suitable is one that I think is my natural leadership style. Fundamentally, I think a lot of uh, female leaders struggle with, um, I guess, embracing the position of leadership. In my belief, I think having women leaders in, um, in the organization, especially at senior leadership, it is simply the right thing to do just like it is the right thing to do to have the right level of black representatives in an organization. So diversity in its nature means you have a better understanding of your community and can better service your customers. In terms of myself personally, the way in which I try and balance work and, and, and my home life is that I've got a lot of things that I do when I'm outside of work. But also in a work context, one of the things that is important, just like in the home life where you have to have a structure, you also have equally to have a structure at work where you have people, men and women, who are even smarter than you, who are more experienced than you, so that they can then uh, support you. You can also delegate responsibilities to them so that you are not the one who must know everything and who must make all the decisions. Because for a team to be high functioning, it means that everyone in the team has to contribute and has to contribute meaningfully to the success of the team. One of the things that is always compared, and I guess to seek a little bit of understanding, is the difference between what is uh, gender equality, what is gender equity, as well as what is women empowerment. Basically, gender equality means that there is um, respect and, um, and I guess to some extent, an acknowledgement that all the sexes have equal rights. And as a result, you can then participate and, 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 and make decisions in your, in, in your life however you see fit. But that does not mean that the sexes are actually equal. For example, gender equality will say all females and males could participate in a sport. But in a sport like boxing, for example, if you have a female versus a male, that becomes to some extent not equal by the mere fact that a, a male will then have more muscle than a female. Whereas gender equity, on the other hand, means that you then put in place systems and support uh, structures that allows to level the playing um, field for both genders so that they have an equal opportunity to be able to grow in an organization. So that may mean that women may be afforded certain advantages over the males in order for them to progress due to some of the physical limitations that they may have um, and, and some of those other accommodations given that historically the opportunities have not been equal. Women empowerment on the other hand is about um, ensuring that women are given a seat at the table. And I guess more than being given a seat at the table, uh, female leaders need to be able to then occupy that seat and making sure that their voice is heard. That means that when, you, as a lady, you are occupying a seat at the table, you need to contribute and you need to make your voice heard because the only way you then pave the way for other uh, women in the organization is when you yourself are taking a lead and that by itself will open doors for other female leaders in the organization. To all the transnetters, I even with you, Sasek.